where stocks 101. So this is our story. So when I was younger, I used to watch the Disney Channel, and when it was a commercial break, my parents used to switch to this channel. <laughs> I, at the time, did, had no idea what this meant. I just saw a bunch of numbers and names and green and red arrows. I eventually learned about it in grade nine, and last semester I took a finance course, and I'm in grade 12, and I really enjoyed it. My finance teacher was really inspiring, and when he was 18, he turned $5,000 into $250,000. So hearing about that, I wanted to invest my own money and try to do that. But I didn't know where to start. There was all these sources on Google telling me where to invest, and that was the problem I found, so that's why we came up with Stocks 101. So our team, I'm Renee, I'm the CEO. Uh, I'm Reese, I'm the VP. Uh, I'm Hatsum, uh, head of HR. I'm the all the marketing manager. So what's the problem? Uh, beginner investors not having the knowledge. So uh, there are three main problems. Uh, novice investors being overwhelmed with all the information. Uh, problem number two is the internet is overloaded with information that is like very advanced. Uh, problem number three is novice investors don't know where to start. What's the solution? Stocks 101. So we provide analytics using artificial intelligence that tells the consumer to buy or sell stocks. Uh, we personalize the consumer's stock portfolio to and gives them and give them ratings to stocks that they enjoy. And we, when they sign up, we give them a personalized survey that assesses the risk tolerance that they may have and companies that they may like to invest in. This is a quick ad that we came up with. So we have a basic package, basic package and a VIP package. So our basic package it includes a detailed package of how stocks work so the beginner investor can learn about it. Five personalized stock charts that will show the investor different charts on five companies of their choice that they can analyze with the beginner package that they learn from. A five-star rating that is given to 10 customer-selected companies, and then a weekly podcast for beginners to learn about the stock market. The VIP package offers the same uh, package from before with all the stocks, but it also includes shorting the market, and it also offers 15 personalized stock charts that gives them the graphs, and then it gives them a square root of 100, a little bit more in-depth detail on 25 consumer-selected um, stocks, and it also gives them a square of 100 for 25 stocks that they could short. So who's our target market? So novice investors, uh, investors seeking knowledge and guides, and people aged 25 and 30. So mostly uh, people coming out of high school, us, uh, not high school, sorry, university and college. So, uh, some, st some statistics, so when you search up what companies to invest in, there's 144 million uh, results in half a second. So it may be confusing to a first time beginner investor on what to do. And people between the ages of 20 to their 30s are more interested in investing in the stock mar market but don't know how to. So customer validation. Uh, why most people don't invest money is because they don't have the money or they don't know about stocks. Also, they sometimes don't trust stock, stock, sometimes don't trust stock brokers. So we asked how many people would be willing to 
complete our subscription. Uh, and we got a result of 84% of people willing to pay for our subscription. So going to the market. So one of our main thing is to scale it and uh, market it. So we're going to go to Google search engines, uh, campus drop-ins, so people who've already graduated from universities and bring them back to give them a talk on how they could you know, make money on a side income. Social media ads such as Facebook and Instagram where most of the demographics that we have shown reside in. Uh, music platforms, so it would be like podcasts or like uh, people who don't have like uh, premium, so like we can play our ads and advertise it in that way. So our main competitor is Vectorvest. They're a similar company that specializes in data and stock analytics. Um, as you can see, this is what their website looks like to the consumer. Very confusing. Ours is going to be a lot simpler. So revenue stream. Right now we're working with some turpentine-based revenue, but we hope to start, we'll start using webinars, uh, start a weekly podcast on Spotify, and have advertising on our website. So the next steps are to increase ad advertisement on social media apps and provide valuable, understandable, and reasonable information to the consumer and to keep customers engaged by providing weekly emails to them, reminding them about their stocks, and every month having like a hot stock to buy. So the breakdown of the cost is around well, $10,000 for social media advertisement is gonna be allocated, and then the software development for the actual website and analytics could be between 10,000 to 300,000. And then we have a quick website. So this is a demo website that uh, we made. Uh, so this is the website. Um, so this is what we offer. So these are your options here and mutual funds and different types of stocks you may want to check out. Uh, account services, so if you want help with financial planning, you can get in touch. Uh, stock tips, investment advice, such that. Uh, this is the price listing on, this is for basic and this is for more advanced. Uh, and this is something to tell them like how, like, for credibility and such like that. Uh, on the bottom left here, we have like a chat, live in chat. So when we get more customers, we can have live in chats in which it will have, um, it will allow the user and a more experienced person to communicate if they have any problems. And yep. Thanks for your time.
they're not gonna go spend a bunch of money on something they're just starting to invest in or like gonna gain knowledge about. So that's why we came up with like a reasonable price point that people would pay for. Um, and uh, I noticed that you're planning on using AI for a lot of this, yeah. uh, which is awesome and exciting because that's the field I work in. <laughs> um, but one, one question I did have is, are you considering uh, you know, human financial advisors in this as well? Are you planning on incorporating them into this platform? In we, we plan to like incorporate them, but the majority of it being AI, like they could review what the AI like finds, but the majority of it would be AI. Okay, and all you're doing is the recommendation of what to purchase. The, the customer would then do the selection at yeah. the end of the day. Okay, um, And uh, one, one other thing, I noticed your range for engineers <coughs> from 10,000 to 300,000. Yeah. You, you may want to do a little bit more, um, kind of hold that in a little bit. Yeah. That, that's quite a crazy, like a big range. Uh, so it would be helpful, you know, as an investor into your company to really kind of get a better understanding of what are the skill sets you need to, to build this type of platform. Thank you. Excellent presentation, guys. And uh, since this is the field that I'm in, I'm super excited to ask more detailed questions. So yes, because your presentation was so good, I feel like you can handle some of these. Um, do you really think your competitors, do you think you've done a, a, an exhaustive enough search for your because I've heard you're trying to do three separate, four different things, almost. So three main things that you're trying to cover. Is number one, you're an aggregator of content, like Bloomberg, or you're an online trading platform, like Robinhood, or you're an AI-recommended trading strategy, or mobile advisor, like WellSimple, or like a hedge fund. Those are all great things, but I heard you're trying to do all those things. So please help me understand which one are you really going to focus on. We're more focused on the AI and then giving the information to the user to comprehend and then make a decision. Right. So the AI part, now help me understand a bit more about that. So are you building the AI algorithm? Where is your data coming from? We would hire a software engineer to build the AI and like try to analyze certain trends in the market. Like there's different like Elliott Wave and can't remember any other ones off the top of my head, but like certain ways that a computer could pick up on that right. are using it. So you're trying to use more existing market data and you're trying to build an AI algorithm to optimize for what? To find niches in a market where you can make money. So you're trying to build a market which is essentially what everybody's trying to do in yeah. every single AI, AI algorithm and only about 8% of them actually meet the market. So excellent goal. I'd love to see you prove the concept, because if you do, I want to invest in your company. In fact, I think you should hire me, because I've been trying to solve the problem my entire career. So anyways, that's just one side of the equation. Um, the other side is I like that you focus on stocks, but you know, there's just other financial instruments. And perhaps, you know, for the target market group that you're looking at, 25 to 30, first of all, that's a very narrow range. But secondly, do you think stocks are the best investment vehicle for that group of people? Or is it something, depending on the risk tolerance of the users, Course, but you know, I like I get that this is a personal interest of yours, but I just like you to think a little bit harder about you know what exactly is the best financial vehicle for people within that age range. I think like 25 to 30, they may have a higher risk tolerance than someone 30 plus who may have kids, may have family. Like there also is the option with bonds, that's something, or like GIC, like the best GIC to invest in. Right. There's also options with that. Right. So again, you're getting into financial planning. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that's another. You have Wealth Simple and folks like that doing what you're trying to do, and you're trying to do better. So again, my feedback is, I think you, you have a lot of really good research, and you're clearly very, very smart. Hone in on one area that you think you can excel at it and demonstrate that you can actually beat the market and be what everyone else is trying to do because you're not the only one I'm trying to solve for. So anyways, good job. Okay, awesome. thank you.